Hello everyone, um, a guy on YouTube wanted to see a tutorial on this. I'm going to uh, uh, try to make the tutorial really short because I'm in a silly mood today uh, and I can't really concentrate. So yeah, um, this is the synth, uh, it looks like this and this is the sound. <laughs> I think it's uh, pretty close. Uh, if you mess around with um, some settings here, you can uh, make it even closer. Uh, what I did, uh, it took me like 10 minutes to make this. Uh, I'm actually surprised myself. Um, I think I was pretty lucky though. I, I put it on format and then down uh, four octaves because you get some really annoying sounds when it's on format. Um, you want it to be uh, a bit lower. Um, so yeah, format, and then I just put it on saw. Uh, no, uh, it was on saw from the beginning. Uh, and I just found this nice spot here between the W and the square corner here. Um, and then I just scroll like around here, uh, like this, <coughs> to find uh, a nice uh, sound. Uh, and I think this sounds really close to the original. And then I just layered it up with the. Uh, uh, this sine wave, which which well, which is the um, uh, sub bass. I recommend that you don't uh, like if you're gonna make a track from this, don't put it in the same synth because it's gonna get really messy when you're mixing and stuff. Uh, so put it on a separate synth. But I just made it for the sake of this tutorial. Um, so yeah. Um, the 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 the. Uh, um this um is gonna be a square wave it's on a smooth uh, slash square here and it's all the way to the right down four octaves again um amp all the way to the left on all of this and yeah this envelope on just put it like that um the default envelope looks like this just turn it up and like that and you're done um yeah we're done with this uh, this side i think uh by the way uh, both of these are going to be on format and not this, this sine wave. Uh, the feedback is going to be a bit up. Uh, it just makes uh, the sound... Uh, it's like turning up the low shelf basically, but uh, it also it's also like a bit of distortion, this feedback knob here. So it's really nice to use in some cases. Um, it's a bit over 9 o'clock uh, and uh, pretty much in the middle of this, just a bit more to the filter one I think. Um, no inserts. Uh, you can put inserts if you want to, but uh, I haven't done it for this synth. Uh, low pass 4 here. Um, this is going to be a bit more to the filter 1 here. Uh, if you see this line here, it's going to be so it uh, covers like the second line here. Just like that. Um, and uh, I recommend that you put a macro on here because uh, you can get some really nice sound I sounds if you just mess around with this cutoff. <laughs> it's just slightly different and I actually think it sounds better when it's here. Um, resonance don't keep this too high. <laughs> because you're gonna lose some of the power. Y you're gonna lose some of the power. Um, it's gonna be yeah, pointing at this direction at the A here. Uh, just a bit over 9 o'clock. So yeah, uh, and this screen filter isn't doing much. Uh, it's just making this uh, square wave sound a bit uh, more crispy, I think. If you listen to uh, with <coughs> and without, yeah, uh, it makes it make makes it sound better. Um, and what I did was I just put this all the way up, uh, resonance bit slightly over nine o'clock, and this is pretty much nine o'clock. Uh, and I put this envelope, which looked like looks like this, a really short attack, uh, and uh, yeah, kind of high decay. Just copy this off, and put it on there, and drag it up. Um, yeah, I think I'm done with this part, those parts now. The teletube here, you find it here, the distortion unit thing. Um, this is going to be a bit over nine o'clock, and this is going to be on uh, yeah, eleven, ten something. Uh, dimension expander, don't keep this size too high, uh, just keep it down here and the dry wet uh, a bit over 9 o'clock. 
the EQ um, uh, just turn the high shelf down a bit frequency at 2 o'clock boost down a bit I think that this actually removes uh, some frequency when you turn down the boost if you turn it up yeah it does um, and uh, the low shelf I haven't touched it I think um, yeah I think I'm done except the vibrato here uh, it's the default um, macro uh, if you don't know how to put the vibrato on you basically take this uh, and you put it on there and I think by default it's a bit higher and it's also on this I, r I removed it from the rate and then just took this down like that uh, and you get this vibrato sound yay um, and you can try to mess around I think it sounds better if it's a bit higher maybe <laughs> you can make it sound really screamy um, yeah I think I think that's it uh, so uh, uh, remember you can make some really nice sounds with the format just mess around with uh, the format and different uh, wavetables um, Vibrato, <laughs> yeah, um, vibrato is nice, uh, and this macro you can also t tweak around with that. Uh, I think I'm done, except the voicing here, it's on 3, um, polyphone, uh, you can mess around with this pi pitch cutoff too. And this is on 19 by the way, it's on 1 by default, but uh, 19 is better. <laughs> You pretty much get the same effect uh, as when you turn uh, when you tweak with this vibrato thing, but yeah, uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I th no this reverb. Um, you don't need the reverb really, but if you want to make it sound a bit bigger, that's without it. I think it helps a bit. So yeah. Um, you can just copy off the settings if you have Ableton, otherwise this decay time is going to be on uh, yeah, 1.5 sec uh, seconds uh, and uh, not too much wet. Um, yeah, and yeah, I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, uh, comment, rate, subscribe and all of that. Bye, see you next time. <laughs>